Hey guys. So, as some of you might know, my parents divorced when I was very, 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 very small. I can't remember a single thing that actually happened in the period between pretty much being born and that happening. But it means that, of course, my parents are separated. They live in different places and I am currently living with my father, which is excellent. It's a nice house, in a nice neighborhood, in a nice place, and I can get to university. But of course, I spent most of my life living with my mother, meaning that I tend to miss her a lot. And that necessitates a lot of travel to go and visit her, as well as some of my other relatives who live in the same suburb, including my cousin and her husband and my grandmother, most notably, because she's just... You know, grandmothers, like, you have to visit your grandmother, right? So travelling to and from my mother's and my grandmother's, because those are the two places I tend to stay when I do visit, um, I do that so much that I have mastered the art of packing for a weekend visit. And being a second channel, I thought I might give you a quick glimpse into what I've packed for this weekend's particular visit. Mainly because this is literally all you'll ever see me pack anywhere ever and indeed this is probably the most I'll ever pack for anything because I'm actually packing knowing that I have a journalist assignment to do over the weekend just some news writing and some pro uh, copy editing and things like that so this is literally the most you'll ever see me put into a backpack for a weekend visit let's go so everything that you can see here is everything that I would take with me to visit my mother or my grandmother or my cousin wherever I end up staying things like that uh, we'll start with one of the obvious things this is my my notebook my uh, this is a Moleskine soft cover, 192 page lined notebook with a message there for if I'm going to get a drink and I don't want someone to steal my spot at the university library. Uh, it's an interesting way that I keep this journal and I might actually do a video on that, a second channel video of course, or maybe even a, a first channel video uh, on that because it is rather interesting. Uh, this is the second interesting thing in my bag, this is the optional item, my elements of style my style guide, I don't have a publication that I work for that has a style guide currently, so I just use this and a combination of that, and if I don't like how something looks in this, I'll basically copy what the Sydney Morning Herald and Fairfax do. Uh, I've got my headphones, of course, for listening to music and editing videos on the go as well, my, uh, my wallet, which has some money in it, a bank card at the moment, and my student ID and my driver's license, or my learner's license. Uh, that's just for identification purposes. I've never needed anything in there except my train ticket, which I have to buy. Uh, this is, of course, my iPad mini, uh, which at the moment has a rather nice background. Uh, this has a whole bunch of things on it, like I've got uh, a lot of news things on there. I've got some writing apps, uh, the Kindle app, the iBooks app. I'm using it for email and OmniFocus, which is task management. Uh, this is basically productivity on the go, uh, light edition, because of course I do also have something I'm not game to pick up uh, while I'm standing behind the camera, but my shiny new MacBook Air, which I'm actually showing to my grandmother for the first time, which she's excited about because it was thanks to her that I was able to actually get it just after my birthday. And uh, the final thing that is really interesting would be this. This is what is called a gridded organizer and basically just just slots in my bag. It's got my laptop charger, my iPhone and iPad charger, uh, my stationery, so a, a blue pen, a red pen, that's an iPad stylus, highlighter and a permanent marker. And it also has this. This is my audio recorder for when I record interviews. There was a picture that I took for Instagram purposes that is somewhere on my Instagram feed and uh, that just shows basically what it does. It sits there on a table and it it captures audio, it's quite good at its job, but I want to get one that outputs to MP3 rather than WMA. Uh, Windows media files are ridiculous. Um, there's only really two more things left to go. The first one is this. It's empty at the moment, but I will refill it before I go. This is my water bottle. Bought it from the cafe, uh, the coffee cart at university because I was getting a coffee and I forgot my water one day. And this is my package of miscellaneous clothes. So in here, there is a dress shirt, there's a t-shirt, there's a pair of pajamas, there's socks and various under undergarments that one needs, but that'll pretty much last me a weekend. Of course, you saw earlier I'm wearing a cardigan, which is for warmth in the winter, and I'm wearing jeans and a pair of cons. Uh, and of course, the last thing that you really need to see, the backpack that it all goes in. Don't worry, it will all fit. I have done this many times before, as I've already said. But that's enough from me. I want to know what you guys put in your bag whenever you go to visit your relatives, whenever you go to visit your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, even if you're just sleeping over at a friend's place. What do you pack? 
Uh, if you have a second channel, you should probably put it on there because I don't think people are actually interested in what's in your bag anymore. But I was bored, I had an hour to kill before I had to leave, so I decided to do this. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out my main channel, which is youtube.com slash Lachlan Tries Vlogging, and also all of my social media links, which you can check in the description of this video besides that. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, Internet.